Welcome to Beers and Brawls, the show where my guests and I drink beer and talk all things wrestling. I'm your host, Jared, and joining me on tonight's show is a guy who made a name for himself in PWSA. He's a two time PWSA tag team champion, now resides in Riot City. He's the Alpha, Brandon Black. Brandon, thank you for joining me on Beers and Brawls today. How's things? How's life at the moment? Oh, yeah, you know, not too terrific. You know, we've got, a, we've got no wrestling going on, but you know, I'm, I'm getting old, so it feels good to, to relax a bit, yeah. drink a bunch of booze. Yeah, which... yeah, give the body a rest and take it easy. Exactly. Yeah. Feels nice. good. Hopefully feels... you brought plenty of beers tonight for the show. Oh, man, I brought a whole factory. <laughs> I brought a whole factory. Just don't tell that dickhead Rachel, because he steals all my beers. No, we won't tell him, don't worry about that. Um, oh, just a quick question, did you scan your QR code on the way in? The fuck are you on about? QR code? Yeah. Oh. Alright, sorry, I thought it was a good joke. Anyway, let's just uh, get into some shots to welcome to the show. Who books this shit? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm trying here. You're trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mum was trying last oh, night. Oh, last of the, last of the good shit, they say. Alright. I'll make up for that later on. Unprofessional. <laughs> Unprofessional. Three, well, two, thank down you. the hatch. Cool. All right. Nice. Mm. So yeah, obviously with the whole situation in the world as we know of, wrestling's not going at the moment. You know, it's a bit stop-start. So what do you got planned for a... What's Brandon Black got planned for the new year? Uh, Really want to start uh, chasing after a few more championships. Really want to go after those RCW Tag Team Championships. Yeah. But I don't really like anyone, so maybe I'll go after it myself. I will be both <laughs> Tag Team Champions. You'll be the Tag Team Champions. I will be the Tag Team Champions. I like it, I like it. All right, so what we're going to get into is uh, um, rapid fire questions. So it's 10 questions in uh, five minutes. Oh, okay. So I just want you to, whatever comes to mind, just want you to fire away with your answers. Mm-hmm. You all ready to go? Yeah, mate. All right, start the timer. And let's go. So who is Brandon Black? Give us a bit of a backstory. What's he all about? I'm the app. And if you keep this shit up, mate, you're going to get T-Bag with a vacuum. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I've seen what you can do. I've seen your, you've seen your stuff, so I don't want to start that. When did you start wrestling? I uh, started training in December of 2017. I uh, debuted in, I want to say, February 2018. So I've been wrestling officially since 2018. Yeah, nice. So going on three years almost? Yeah. Getting there. Nice. Awesome. Uh, who's your favorite wrestler and why? Currently? That can be all time. Oh. Whoever stands out the most in your mind. I'll tell you who isn't. Fucking Bill Redshaw. Sucks. Fucking sucks. He's got a stupid haircut and a fucking squeaky voice and he doesn't even have good biceps. That's fair enough. So no favourite or? Uh, me. Yeah? No, that's good call. Cool. Good call. Cool. Uh, favourite alcohol drink? Oh, I'm a sucker for Baileys. I Baileys? Love I'm a sucker for Baileys. Wow, I did not think the alpha would drink Baileys. Mm, nothing wrong with it. No, that's fair enough. It's nice and sweet. The real alpha drinks chocolate milk. <laughs> Uh, favorite match of yours? Uh, I would probably say a mix between uh, myself and Twisted J against Blind Force Trauma. Yeah. And I, I really enjoyed my match with Katie Trey a few months ago. That was I thought that was a pretty good match. Yeah, nice, awesome. Um, who's your dream opponent? It can be um, any company, um, local, overseas, all time. Dream opponent. Yeah, who would you like to get in the ring with? Oh, I'd love to get in the ring with a client with me. I'd love to wrestle myself. <laughs> yeah? You yeah, reckon? I'd love to wrestle you reckon myself. maybe in the future they clone some people, you get, get a client and wrestle them? Yeah, Riot City Wrestling is going to become Alpha City Wrestling. It's just brand and black clones everywhere. You've heard that here first, guys? Yeah, it's going to suck. Please tune in. <laughs> get, get ready for the future, guys. Uh, what wrestler would you love to punch in the face? Just square in the nose. Can be anyone. Little Onyx. Little Onyx? If you know, you know. <laughs> right, Little Onyx, come on the show and answer that. 
Please uh, don't. Most embarrassing moment in the ring? Uh, oh, a few years ago, Twisted J and myself did a road trip over to Melbourne. And I was wearing these these trunks that I'd made myself, and I'm, I'm not good at sewing whatsoever. So... I ended up sticking with these as well for a very long time. It was that stupid zebra print one. Yeah, yeah. I was wearing them and we were doing this... I was wrestling these two guys and it was Mike Chaos and... I'm going to feel terrible for forgetting his name, but maybe you should just be better. <laughs> uh, I had him in a headlock and he tried to pin me and then when I kicked out, my balls fell out. So, uh, <laughs> there's that. So all of Elm got to see your balls. Yeah, all, all ten people in attendance got to watch me. <laughs> we won't say the company, we'll keep that. Yeah. I'm sure they got more fans now. Um, so we touched on it just at the start of the questions, um, before the questions, wrestling goals. Mm -hmm. So you want to chase the RCW Tag Team Champions, chips? Uh, anything else sort of in the in your mind at the moment, or just just making your way through that? Uh, I believe in a in a slow burn, in yeah. a, making progress, not too quickly, if that makes any sense. I don't believe in jumping from my current position suddenly to being, oh yeah, main event, let's go for the main event championships. Yeah, it's like. I, I would much rather be a very, very good mid-card act than be a very shit main event. No, so. That's fair enough, yeah. Hone your skill and work your way up. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Good idea. Uh, last question. we got 40 seconds on the clock. Who would you love to wrestle drunk? <laughs> down under. Down under? Fucking down <laughs> under. Any day of the week. Down under, 100%. 100%. Fans of the show, you know Down Under from episode one. If you haven't watched it, Get on and watch it, you'll love it. It's a great time. Um, that man can drink, and Brandon Black can too, so that would be a great fight. Um, RCW, if you need some ideas. Book it in Mount Gambia. Yeah, there we go. New Mount Year's Gambia. Eve show. Let's get it going. All right, I like it. All right, so we nailed those questions. We've got 10 on the clock still, so awesome timing there. Let's just stop that timer. Boom. All right. Awesome. <coughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brandon, for doing those questions. Um, some great answers, and we look forward to watching your progress um, chasing those goals that you had there. Thank you. We're going to finish those questions with another shot. Fuck yes. <laughs> now, I need to make up for my one before, so I'll make sure it's full this time. Now, we finally got rid of uh, the old Johnny Walker runs to something a bit better this time, hopefully. What have we got? We've got a bit of rum here. So lucky we haven't got the down under on here, otherwise this bottle will be gone already. Are you saying it's not going to be gone by the end of this? Oh, well hopefully it is, we'll be having a good time, but let's see how we go. It's always a good time with you, Jared. Cheers, sir. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking hell. Woo! That's good. Alright, so thank you for uh, doing those questions, thank you for having that shot, I know it uh, burnt you a little bit there, myself as well. Oh, there's a reason it's called Aftermath. <laughs> Jesus. So what we're going to get into now is watching uh, two of your matches. Oh, God. The first one is a bit of a trip down memory, memory lane, and then we're going to go into one that's a bit more recent. Um, I haven't shown you these, um, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise. Oh. So uh, are you ready? No. <laughs> all right, all right, that, let's do it, let's do it. You're ready, that means you're ready. I'm more nervous about the memory lane. The memory lane is, it's good, I've watched it, let's see how it goes. It you, is. You've watched it, therefore it's not good. It is your, ah! Ah! <laughs> it's your debut at PWSA. Oh God, give us a Brent. And My fucking sister recorded this. And the video is titled PWSA Brandon Black Debut. Yeah, this is okay. So on the on the Power Slam TV YouTube page, it's right there. Okay, so a <laughs> little bit of a setup. So this was a birthday show. So PWSA used to run weekly, right? And anyone who's ever been to a PWSA show, don't say yet. No, no, no. Don't, don't. Don't, yet. don't interrupt. <laughs> you me tell before. your story, man. Um. Anyone who's ever been to a PWSA show knows that they do a raffle. Uh, and one of the raffle prizes was a private birthday show for anyone who won. 
and good old mate Aaron. Mate, Aaron, if you're watching this, bloody love you. You're, you're the heart and soul of that crowd. Uh, he won and he was like, oh yeah, I just want to do a free show for everyone. Right. I hassled the booker. <laughs> hassled the booker for like a month being like hey so like if you ever need someone to go out there and 30 seconds get destroyed I'm your guy and you and then when this show happened he was like oh yeah no we'll book you against Triton and uh, it's a it's a match <laughs> I wouldn't even put it as a match it's a it's a fucking embarrassment is what it is so this is your debut in 2018, yeah? Yeah, yeah. February 20th. Against Joey Triton. Against uh, Joey Triton, who is at ACW now. ACW now, ACW. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Former ACW Evolve champion, yeah. Yeah. So, let's see He's how a it goes. and he doesn't care. That's his title, I like it. Alright, so you ready to get into this match? Mm. You're ready, let's go. Alright, right, so we'll start. Right. You entering the ring. Look at that beard! Far what out. is that? Oh. Oh. Far out. I had I had quite the Ned Kelly beard back then. Look at that. Believe it or not, this is not my official like. Okay, so this is my official in ring debut as a wrestler. Yeah. But a few weeks ago, I had debuted as a ref. Okay. I debuted as a ref and I did I think the first half before intermission on yep, the show. Yep. And. Uh, I was piss terrified of that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that tat beard. Tattoos out. I love it. Oh, oh what a mark. mark! What a mark! The alpha already showing his dominance. Look at that. What a mark. Alright, so... Jeez. We all know Mrs. Fabe is dead, right? So, here we go. <laughs> here we go. My outfit is... Is my old karate kick pads from when I was in year six. Oh, knee pads, netball knee pads. Netball knee pads. Netball knee pads from when I was uh, in rebel school oh. and I was like, I need some outfit. <laughs> and my trunks are from Kmart. They're speedos. <laughs> They're legitimately speedos. There you go. See, if you want to start wrestling, you don't need much. Grab whatever you have handy. Oof! I like that, good. It's cleaned him up. It doesn't matter what your gear is, just as long as you have gear, you're good. Exactly, exactly. And that's, you know. I mean, my next, my next set of gear. So from here, I went from wearing Kmart Speedos to... Oh, where's that Hogan man? To, tr to fucking tights where I went to Kmart and I bought women's leggings and I got my my partner at the time to wear, like, she would paint on yeah. it. She painted my logo on it and nice, everything. Nice. And, and then I went from that to buying tights off of uh, Redbubble. Yeah. And then after that I, uh, I started sewing my own trunks and now I've Commission people to make my gear. What's that about? What was what about? Give him the finger. Give him the finger. He's a scumbag. <laughs> Fuck him. He stole my leather jacket. He stole my leather. Joey, if you're watching, mate. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. But also, book it. <laughs> there you go, Joey. Wants a rematch. Let's do it. Oh, on that suplex, I uh, fractured my foot. Fractured your foot. I fractured my foot. Holy shit! I uh, I had never taken a snap suplex before. I'd only ever taken like stalling yep, suplex. Yep. And uh, and you kept going with a fractured foot. Yeah. And fractured. gave a suplex. Oh, going for another one. Oh, three Jeez. amigos. Three amigos. I got to bring that back out. I got to bring out the three amigos again. But a little cut back to what you're saying. So see, guys, doesn't. You don't need heaps of gear, spend heaps of money on gear to start with. Just get yourself something that's good, looks good, get yourself in the ring, get that experience, and you can build from there. Absolutely. Like, 100% invest. Like, pro wrestling is much more of an investment as it is uh, income. But if you're gonna... Yeah. If you're caught off guard and you're like, oh shit, I'm debuting this weekend. 
just just go out and find something. Just find something nice. if you're not prepared. As long as you're ready. It's good advice. I like it. It's really good. There's nothing wrong with just buying plain plain speedos and wearing those trunks. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There, you've, as you can tell, there's going to be a big difference between your debut and two years later. So, if you have the time, make the investment, get gear made by professionals, get the right stuff. I recommend Choke Sports. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can buy Asani, um, all these different brands from there. Really top quality. But if you're caught off guard like I was, uh, there's nothing wrong with going to Rebel Sport and just having a look. Just, you heard that here first, guys. Brandon Black dropping some knowledge there. I, so I'm not a dick all the time, <laughs> I swear. I'm all the time, only sometimes. He's been wrestling for yeah nearly over three years, so he's got the knowledge, he's got the experience. Um, I just want to know, how are you running around with a fractured foot? How are you doing all this um, with a fractured foot? I'd, I'd be so, laying on the ground crying by now. So, what happened was... Like I was saying before, when I took the snap suplex, I had only ever taken like normal or swollen suplexes. Yeah. So, Oof. as he went to throw me, in my head I was like, holy shit, how the hell am I gonna counter this? But also, I kind of accepted in my mind like, okay, it's a suplex, <laughs> I can get straight up from this, I can beat the shit out of this guy. And then it's just really quick. He caught you off guard. Yeah, he huh? caught me off guard, like a like a smart wrestler would. He caught me off guard, and uh, as any wrestler would know, you don't want to land on your heels. Yeah, yeah. I landed on my heel, and my left foot uh, suffered a hairline fracture, and it was not fun. Jeez. Oh, oh. Take that. So, uh, following that, all I could think of was. Uh, all right, this is my debut. I've uh, been trained by an old school veteran. And he's nailed it in my head that like, you keep going no matter what. Yeah, yeah. So I just kept, I just kept going. I had a second match this night as well. <laughs> a second match this night. Wow. Well, props to you for keep going through the, through the pain. I'm sure it would have been killing you right now, but you're still going strong. You're, you're looking good. Oh, ouch. Oof. I spoke too soon. Common had his curse. Ooh. Ah. Doing the job. Doing the job. You know what? As uh, is that beard ever gonna come back? We'll pause that there. I've uh, I've thought about it. Um, I don't think. You got the shorter hair there. You got the man bun now. You got the shorter <laughs> hair in that one. I I don't think the uh the the shaved head and Ned Kelly beard fits the vision of the alpha brain and black today. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day it might come back, but right now I'm... It's not feeling it right I'm, now. I'm not yeah. feeling it. I'm enjoying growing my hair out. Yeah. I'm enjoying having a bit more yeah, stubble nice. and beard. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Just change it up, keep it fresh. Uh, I, like it. I, 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 I do have to say this, as, as much as... Uh, Joe Triton and I have our differences, and we may not like each other too much. I will admit, his spear, one of the best, one of the best. Joey, if you're watching this, mate, good spear, good spear. Well, as you can see in this match, it ended you, so... Yeah, it ended me. definitely a good spear. <laughs> <laughs> it cleaned you up, so awesome. Thank you for um, watching that trip down memory lane. Now we're going to go into something more recent, which is from RCW... Uh, 214, we're back, baby. It is yourself versus oh. Katie Trey. Oh, we brought this up earlier. So this is a modern day from August of this year. Um, the Alpha in his prime at RCW. In his prime. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in his prime. Taking on the crossbreed Katie Trey. You um, know what? I, w I will actually accept saying this is in my prime because... <laughs> Well, you stayed at, at the start of the show, you're getting old, so I figured this might be the... At, at the start of... <laughs> at, at, okay, so, once again, Mrs. Fabe, I am so sorry to upset you. At the beginning of 2020, I weighed 123 kilos. 
going into this show, I weighed 86. Jeez, yeah. nice, that's good. I, I had, uh, that was really good. After joining RCW, I, uh, I definitely felt motivated. Yeah, yeah. And uh, after seeing a bunch of good brothers and good sisters uh, working their asses off, I felt, you know, I, it's, it's time to pick up the slack. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm coming from a promotion where I was very, I was very comfortable. I was very, very comfortable where I was and then coming into another company, a brand new company to me, uh, and seeing the the standard yeah, yeah. that was held, uh, it definitely motivated me. So I, I dropped the weight nice, nice. and uh, got really ready for this match. And I love that. That's such a good story. And like, guys, see, it you can do anything possible. You know, dropping almost what forty kilos. Um, you know, you don't try, try not to get complacent and in everyday life, like it doesn't have to be wrestling, it's in your life. You know, don't just go with the motions, change things up, chase the things you love, chase the thing, your dreams. Brandon Black's gone from um, wrestling PWSA, seeing RCW, wanting to be there, dropping weight, getting fit, coming into RCW. Not saying PWSA is um, any worse, but. Oh, PWSA is so far. So far. This is, this is where he wanted to be, this is his goal. Um, mm. And if his goal is to go even further, you know, he's going to better himself, he's going to go from there. So guys, chase what you want to do um, and follow your dreams. Try not to be complacent and comfortable. 100%, 100%. Do what you love. Never get complacent. Um, so, fun fact, uh, it's on the same lines of what we just talked about just there. Um, my debut, so, I said before I started training in December of 2017. Yep. In February of 2017, leading up to that, from the start of 2016 to 2017, I was a competitive powerlifter. Nice. So I was in the gym for three, four hours a day, just squatting, deadlifting, benching. Absolute powerhouse. Yep. Like, massive. In February, um, because I had, I had quite the addiction to energy drinks. I, I had a very unhealthy addiction to energy drinks. I would wake up with one. I would have what, a beer. What was your one. energy drink of choice? Just to cut you off, sorry. Uh, Monster. Any other? Monster? Yeah. Monster, yeah. Nice. Monster, if you're listening, give us a <laughs> Give us a sub. We're, we're happy to get... Brandon's happy to get back on board if you want to <laughs> <laughs> book us up. I was, uh, I was drinking up to 10 energy drinks a day. 10? Up to 10. Jeez. Up to 10. Uh, and how was your heart coping with that? See, that's where the powerlifting stopped. Okay. In uh, February 2016, I was uh, sent to hospital with an irregular heart rhythm. Shit. And I was borderline heart attack. So, I took, I took a break. I was told for six weeks, you're not allowed to exercise on any level, you're not allowed to lift weights, you're not allowed to run, you're not allowed to do anything, you can't work. Wow, for six weeks? For six weeks. Jeez. Nothing, and after that, to come back for a checkup. After that, I uh, I started losing the motivation. I started becoming comfortable in regular regular life. Just eat what you want, drink what you want, yep, do whatever. Yep. And then, as time progressed, started putting on the weight, started losing the muscle. Yeah. And uh, in around November, I want to say. My uh, my partner at the time uh, messaged me and she said, "Hey, I know that you're really interested in pro wrestling. There's this company putting out tryouts. I know that you're not in a very good good way. If you want to try it, give it a go. If you don't, I still support you. Yeah, so nice. through her support, yeah. I gave it a go. Tried out. I was." 93 kilos at the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up about 13 kilos from my from my peak. Yeah, yeah. After that, you know, pass the tryout, obviously. <laughs> well, obviously, because we're watching, we're watching right. you now. Obviously. I'm the alpha, 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 right? I'm the alpha, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, pass the tryout. Felt all right. My heart felt all right. My chest yep. felt all right. Yep. You're all cleared to go and do exercise. I was all cleared to go, do everything. And then uh, 
train my bloody ass off. Yeah. Train my bloody ass off. Debuted. And uh, from there, I've never looked back. So, uh, nice. Follow your fucking dreams, kid. Follow your dreams. That that is great, great advice, Brandon. And I, uh, everyone listening, you should be listening to this. Um, you know, follow what you love, chase your dreams. Um, thank you for sharing that story. Um, I know that's you know personal and out of the wrestling world. Um, but just remember, you know, wrestlers are human beings, and things happen. Mm. So. Um, uh, he is a dick, but he is a human as well. So the yeah. alpha can be a human at times. And for yeah. sharing that story, um, 120 to 80 kilos, that's an awesome achievement. Anyone can do it. So um, yeah. you know what? As, make sure you chase those dreams, guys. As you said, I'm a dick. Right? <laughs> it's, I take pride in being a very, in a very self-aware dick. I know I'm a dick, but. Mm-hmm. Love it or hate it, mate. Like, <laughs> I'd much rather be a dick to your face than dick behind your back. So, there you go. You hear it. All right, are you ready for this match? Absolutely. I think you need another drink before we start. From SW two fourteen, we're back, baby. Yourself versus Katie Trey. Let's do it. Could you imagine? You have a comeback show, right? After months and months. This of- is the first show back from. COVID, from isn't it? from yeah. COVID, yeah. yeah. Could you imagine looking at the card and going, "Oh yeah, we need Brandon Black." Who books this shit? <laughs> Who books this shit? <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! I would have put way more people on the show. Yeah, well, it's good, man. It's a, it's an honour to be booked, and then you got to get Absolutely. a good opponent as in Katie Trey as well. And so any show at RCW I get booked on, I feel extremely lucky. There's a lot of young guys and gals that uh, deserve a spot. And to know that I have uh, I have made made a spot on that card over those people is an absolute honour. Absolute yeah, absolutely. Honor. And you can um, see by this. Sorry, there's a little drop there. Um, no beard, shorter hair. Start of shorter the man hair bun. compared to what you've got. Yeah, now. Start of the man bun. Only in August as well. There's a lot of growth since then. Absolutely, far out. My hair grows in the, like notoriously quick. Anyone that knows me knows that uh, I can't like I need to shave every day and. Uh, oh, oh, good. Oh, 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 here good. we go. Good, I like that. There you go. Throwing the the bloody jacket on there. The jacket. Daniel Bryan. Oof. Oof. Okay, Trey hasn't even taken his jacket. He doesn't know what that is. Good, good. Just get him. There you go. Oh. Nice. Look at me. Down 40 kilos. Down, look at that, the alpha. Any new tattoos since your debut? or? Uh, from my debut, I have started my arm. Yep. Uh, I had no arm tattoos at the start of my debut. <clears throat> nice. Um, fun fact, actually, about tattoos in my debut. The day before, I had just gotten my stomach tattooed. The day before? The day before I got my stomach tattooed. Jeez. So hang on, you've had a tattooed stomach the day before, you fractured your foot in the match, and you still completed the match. Yeah. And then had another one that night, is that right? Mm-hmm. Jeez. What's this guy doing? Why is he eating the ropes? I don't know. He's... What's his problem? What a flog. <laughs> what an absolute flog. Okay, Trey, if you're hearing that, um, okay, come, on the tra- come on the show, come on the show, come on the show and answer that. Oh, nice! Oi! Hey! Oh, whoa, whoa. What's he, is he My favorite you? pastime: eating ass. Is he biting your? Oh! He's biting my ass. Jeez! I'm tasty. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> biting your? Oh my god! What, what is wrong? Oh, atomic oh. drop! Oh, that sucked. Nice. That sucked. That hurt me and my gentlemen, oh. my buttocks, and everything. You've just been bitten on the ass and then kneed in the ass. Oh, oh man, it wasn't fun. Geez. Anyone who has ever taken an atomic drop can uh, can test to uh, the fact that it shocks you from your ass all the way to your gentlemen's. <laughs> it's not a fun time. It's I'm, not a good time. I'm guessing Katie Trey has a fetish of ass. I can't have this fucking bottle. 
<laughs> I'm guessing he likes a bit of arse when he's uh, targeting your ass there. No, no, nothing wrong with that. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Eat what you want to eat. Just, uh, oh! just remember consent. Ooh, no, that was a good nice. clothesline. I will admit that. You put him down. I like that. It's good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The alpha is warmer. Oh! Team! What was that? Is that the famous team? Back! <laughs> The famous <laughs> tea bag. I'm, oh. I, I want to take this time to put over Caden Cornell, <laughs> and I want to thank Caden Cornell for uh, giving me the idea of the tea bag. Because of him, I now have something that is actually <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, Caden Cornell, big shout out to you. Um, hopefully, big one shout day out. we'll get you on the show as well. Absolutely um, underrated talent. I've seen. Oh, oh shit! Oh, hey, there you go. He's rocking that. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's talk about Kenny oh, Cornell for a second. Like geez. he is, mate. If you're watching, you are you are so criminally underrated. Underrated. You are so good in the ring. So good on the mic. You just need more confidence. I, I, I agree with you. I've seen his. I've seen some of his matches. And talking about matches, I've seen yours. This famous tea bag that's going around. What? <laughs> Obviously, you got it from Kay and Cornell, but what, what makes you want to do that to your opponents? Like, why? Uh, so, anyone who knows me outside of wrestling knows that uh, Brandon here is... Uh, fun fact, I am actually called Brandon Black. It's on my birth certificate. Boom! Right there, Brandon Black. There you go. Uh, anyone who knows Brandon Black outside of wrestling knows that uh, I am a massive, massive Power Rangers fan. And uh, during the Zordon era of Power Rangers, there's these two bullies called Bulk and Skull. And in, uh, in I guess, their most prominent series, they, uh, they do a lot of stuff that's kind of funny. And uh, I thought, oh yeah, teabag it. That, that's kind of funny. Oh, that'll get a good reaction. So uh, the Alpha has kind of turned from being someone who's uh, holier than thou. To a high school bully. So there we go. Nice. There we go. There you go. I like it. Nice. And uh, I guess the tea bagging kind of comes into the whole high school bully thing. High, yeah. s- high school humor. Tea bagging is a uh, right. very high school. Oh! Oh! Boom! Roll face. Face. That. There you oh. go. He was setting up for his finisher. Is that right? Yeah. yeah exactly. Setting up for his finisher. I saw it coming. Thought, oh yeah, I could roll. Smart. I'm fat. That, that's I that roll. ring experience right there. What are, you, what are you doing here, mate? What are you doing? If it wasn't for uh, PWSA doing weekly shows when I debuted, I wouldn't have this in ring experience. So I, I know what to expect. I know See, what's going on. We weren't shooting on PWSA before. We, it's a great company um, and it's made what the author is today. I like it. Straight shooting like a cowboy. PWSA yeah, well, is a what's, lot of fun. What's going on here? Love RCW, love PBSA, support support pro wrestling all over all exactly, the spectrum. Exactly, exactly right. What's, uh, what's Dean Brady doing out there? Ah, oh, bloody Dean Brady. What, so uh, earlier in the uh, night, Dean Brady had a match, and I went out there and I tried to take off the turnbuckle to distract him. And uh, after taking off the turnbuckle, he came out. And I was like, you know what? I can I can spin this. I can make the referee think he's taking it off. I can work this to my own uh, my own advantage. No, it's not. I can put Ken Trey to sleep, if you know what I mean. So, so you interfered in his, he's interfering in yours. Absolutely. And now the referees have a I will respect out. that. I will respect that. Turn him out as fair play. Oh, oh! You hit the buckle. Here we go, here we go, go to sleep, go to sleep! Shades of CM Punk, oh! Oh! oh nice. nice! There you go, winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner, baby! I guess this, you know, it's true what they say, it doesn't matter how you win, it's as long as you win. Um, bit of cheating there, but you got the job done. I wouldn't say it's cheating. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's Taking cheating. Taking advantage of your situation. Yeah. yeah, I'd say I took advantage of uh, the current situation. No. Katie Trey, you know, dumb enough to come around, come running after me. <laughs> what an idiot. 
<laughs> Imagine jobbing to Brandon Black. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, sloppy shot. <laughs> Fucking. Who booked this shit? Who books this shit? <laughs> Alright, so thank you for watching um, that match from more of the, the current day stuff. Um, you know, obviously there was some cheating there, but you know, you got the job done. Let's focus on the in ring ability. The contrast between my debut, <laughs> the absolute mess of a debut to two years in after, what, four months? No no shows, no training, no nothing? It's true, first one back from COVID, so yeah. That's, it's very impressive, and to see where you've come from to where you are now, um, it's only up from here, and hopefully you can chase those goals of getting those Peter, uh, RCW taken championships. So we'll I see how you go. That. I appreciate it. Um, so, Thank you for watching those. Um, now, where can uh, the fans find you? What, what is your social media? If you want to give us a little little rundown of that. So on uh, Facebook, I am facebook.com slash I am Brandon X underscore black. On, uh, on Instagram, I am just Brandon X black. And on Snapchat, I am the court of dash owls. Nice. That's where you can find me. Twitter or? Twitter, I am just Brandon X Black. Nice. All the links will be in the description. I'll make sure I put all those there, especially the Snapchat as well. Um, put them in there. You know, give some support to Brandon um, if you want. It's up to you, but get behind the wrestlers. Get behind local wrestlers. Support um, Australian wrestling, especially. You know, we're going to. Hopefully, when COVID's finished and um, all of Australia gets back into running shows properly, everyone's going to be on the rise, everyone's hungry, everyone's ready to go. And I know Brandon, from what he's told me, and from told you guys, he's ready to go. So, very support, support behind them. Um, do you have any merch or anything as well that you sell? Or uh, I have some merch coming up. I have some merch coming up that uh, I'll have available on uh, wrestlermerch.com and uh, at RCW shows. Yeah, yeah. Not right now, however, if you... Do message my Facebook page. I can I can sort something out for you. So if you message me, I'll be able to fi fix you up. Nice, nice. So yeah, that link will be in the description. So hit him up. You want to get some merch, get some brand and black t-shirts. Um, like I said, throw your support behind independent wrestlers here in Australia. Let's keep this scene growing. Let's keep it going. Um, brand and black. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thanks, mate. Appreciate um, your time. Before you leave, we are going to do another shot. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> Obviously, um, I know you're caught an Uber here, so there'll be no driving um, for you because we're we're all respectable. American money. Um, we got something a bit smoother from that back burner that we had before, so we'll um, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> we'll hit that up. God. Sound good? Yeah, absolutely. Hundred percent in. Hundred percent. Let's do it. That's <laughs> <laughs> shit. Here we go. So let's. Uh, here we go. Ah. So my four is in probably. There we go. Fucking hell. So we're making a bit of money off this video, of these videos now. So got a little bit better product. Um, I did hit you with something a bit, a bit over the top beforehand, but we're gonna smooth it out now with a bit of uh, American honey. Anyone who ever buys afterburn <laughs> rum, I hope you know that it's gonna suck. So Wild Turkey, if you're watching, uh, give us a sponsorship, and we'll uh, drink it every week. Red and black. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sharon. Oh, that's better. Oh, nice. Ooh! 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 Ooh. Right. So, big thank you again for being on the show. Appreciate um, you coming on. All the knowledge you dropped to the fans. So hopefully you guys take notice of this. Really no note down what he's told you. Um, you know, from working out in the gym, dropping weight, starting out in wrestling. You know, you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars at the start. Get yourself in, get training, get yourself fit, get yourself a match, go from there. Um, I appreciate all the knowledge you dropped and I appreciate you dropping those stories. Um, I know appreciate it's... You having me on. Of course, appreciate man, of course. I know it's um, personal going behind the curtain a little bit and I hope you enjoyed <laughs> those matches we watched from the debut <laughs> of Brandon something. Black. There was something. All the way up to modern right. day Brandon Black. Um, we look forward to watching your progress and seeing what you go for all in the new year. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Sarah. Easy. I really do appreciate it. No problem, man. Thank you very, you very much. much. Easy. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Beers and Brawls.
Another big thank you to my guest, the Alpha, Brandon Black. Um, awesome chat, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give your social media a like and a follow, and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Help us out, help us supply all the good alcohol to our guests, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.